Taylor Pavlovich here with the Memphis Music Bank to give you the national and local headlines of what's breaking in the entertainment industry today. Commercial Appeal writes about the tragic passing of Steve Bing, a Memphis music benefactor who is remembered for his love of artists and his work with Jerry Lee Lewis. On Monday, film producer, philanthropist, and political activist Steve Bing died in Los Angeles. The news of his passing was felt deeply in Memphis, where Bing, a major music fan and booster, was beloved as a champion of the Bluff City's rich musical heritage. Bing had been the key force behind Jerry Lee Lewis's late career comeback since 2005, executive producing multiple albums and projects for the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. On Tuesday, Lewis released a statement on Bing's passing. Steve Bing has been my friend for nearly 40 years. He was more than a friend. He was a confidant, a shepherd, and a son to me, Lewis said. We've spent countless holidays together, traveled the world, and enjoyed many fond memories. I loved him and will miss him dearly. It doesn't seem possible to live in a world without Steve. Rest easy, son. Following various media accounts about his death at age 55, Bing's former girlfriend, actress Elizabeth Hurley, and their 18-year-old son Damien confirmed his death on their respective social media accounts Tuesday. The founder of Shangri-La Entertainment, Bing was the grandson of a real estate developer, Leo S. Bing, a close friend a former President Bill Clinton, and a major contributor to the Democratic Party. Raised in Los Angeles, Bing dropped out of Stanford University to pursue a Hollywood career, first as a writer and ultimately a producer. He was the key figure behind the development of director Robert Zemkis's groundbreaking digital features The Polar Express and Beowulf. His other credit credits include the Albert Brooks-directed Looking for Comedy in the Muslim World and the Bill Murray vehicle Rock the Kasbah. Bing's passion for music led him to produce documentaries, including Ma Martin Scorsese's Rolling Stones concert film Shine a Light and the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young feature CSNY slash Deja Vu. In 2009, Bing launched his own boutique record label, Shangri-La Music, which put out albums by The Pretenders and Monsters of Folk, among others. Despite his musical enthusiasms, Bing's greatest passion, certainly his deepest devotion, was for the pumping piano of the killer, Jerry Lee Lewis. Quote, Steve taught himself to play piano when he was a kid because he was just so bowled over by Jerry Lee and seeing him at the Los Angeles nightclub, the Polimino, last night. Said Peter Gorlnick, noted musical author, Elvis Presley's biographer and Bing friend. Steve was a fan in the best sense of the world. He was a fan of the music, he was a fan of the musicians, and he did everything he could to support them. Starting in the mid-2000s, Bing made it a personal crusade to bring Lewis back into the studios and to prominence, executive producing his 2006 LP, Last Man Standing. Making Lewis's first album in over a decade, Bing helped marshal many of music, music's biggest names to appear on Last Man Standing, including the Rolling Stones' Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, Bruce Springsteen, Neil Young, Rod Stewart, and Aaron Clapton, among others. Bing also produced a companion live CD and DVD released in 2007, highlighting Lewis's shows in Los Angeles and New York in support of the album. Last Man Standing was his idea, and he executed the entire project per perfectly, said Lewis. Everything he's done for me has been nothing short of perfect. The Lewis-Bing relationship continued with the 2010s Mean Old Man and 2014's Rock and Roll Time. The latter album found Lewis returning to a spiritual home, cutting the record at Sun Studios in Memphis. Steve is one of the most positive people I've ever known, said Gwalnick, who penned liner notes for the Lewis albums. He took me to the Jack Clementine and Sam Phillips dictum that if you're not having fun, you're not doing anything. Everything I did with him over the last years was big fun. Bing continued to support of Lewis helping the rock legend, who suffered a stroke last year, put together a new album project produced by T-Bone Burnett and an accompanying documentary directed by Burnett and his wife, Nashville TV series creator Callie Corey. In fall 2018, Big was, Bing was a part of a group, which included Gorlnick and Jagger, that visited Memphis, touring Sun and Phillips Studios. The visit came in anticipation of a proposed film adaptation of Gralnick's biography of Sun founder Sam Phillips to star Leonardo DiCaprio. Over the years, Bing had also worked to bring a version of country great Meryl Hagrid's life story to the big screen. Quote, he was always looking for a way to enhance the world's appreciation for the people he loved, said Gralnick. 
He was just totally committed to the things he loved and believed in.